So today I want to do a bit of a follow-up to um, my last video where I put the bottom of the bottle on this little foot on top of the canvas. Now I had to use a bit of tape, quite a bit of tape to stick it there uh, because this one is uh, not, uh, it's concave so it bubbles out and the tape well, kind of fills in that bubble. It's not going to be leveled, but last time it's uh, it gave quite a phenomenal result with uh, all the drips, and I really, really like it. So I wanted to try it with another shape of canvas and uh, the other shape of bottle. And I was also wondering, what if I just pour the paint and no base coat of paint? what will happen with that? And so uh, I decided to try it. I also mixed my paints the usual way. I used uh, all everybody paints here. So it's one part paint to one part medium and then I add water to the mix. I like to add water to the mix since I know how much I can add without under binding the acrylic. And here I used an ink and I did one part ink to ten part medium. And what I plan on doing here is a mix of fluorescent colors and a, a, maybe a line of black in between the fluorescent colors to contrast and uh, separate them. And also uh, since it will probably create a, a whole bunch of a little drips detail, uh, the black will uh, define this by contrasting a lot and I think it's going to look very cool. So I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. So I'll start it with a little bit of black. And then I will alternate with fluorescent colors. So what I'm realizing is that without a base coat, it's not flowing outward as much. So I think what I'll do is uh, move my contraption around. I think the weight also makes it so it goes in the middle. So if I pour here, it's going to flow towards the middle. See, it's going towards the middle, following the weight of the paint. So, let's move it again. Ooh, extra drip. Let's just stop this one here and go to the other corner. Oh, an extra drip again. I think it's going to look uh, quite interesting actually with the extra drips. Add a bit of uh, detail around because I think I'm going to leave what's between the poor white. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm not even on top of the canvas on that side. Well, 
It's going to uh, look uh, interesting. Let's make one last here. I wonder what will happen if I drip on top of this one. And so let's do this. That looks um, skedelic. <laughs> I kind of feel like uh, tilting this. Well, maybe not this one, but I think I will make one where I tilt it just for the fun of it. There's some empty spaces in between. How about some uh, wormholes to fill them up? I think that could be nice. So what I'll do is just empty all the drops of paint I have left in a cup and not mix it too much. So I have a nice detailed drips. I think it's going to uh, go very well with the flowers and the drips that are already on the canvas. And one last wormhole with fluorescent colors and a bit of the metallic pearl. Let's just make some drips around, fill up the empty blank space. Add some details. Here we go. I think this looks pretty amazing. I love how the movement in the paint accentuates the lines and the drips. Like you can see, it's uh, going in the middle, and here it's uh, going off because it has a a line of paint that helps it flow off. The lines in the drips are once again amazing. And I think it looks uh, quite interesting. I love the middle one with the sharp big line in the middle. And I think it looks uh, very cool. I love the, I really love the details in the drip, it's just amazing. You can see here, the movement accentuated it, quite intense. 
And here are some cells have appeared in it as well. I used carbon black as well because I wanted uh, the black to take over a little bit and hide a bit of that fluorescent paint. And when you put it under a black light, then the fluorescent paint will really uh, come out from spots where you don't even see it because one, it's transparent and two, it's going to be a bit covered in the black and you won't see them, but the black light will make them come out. I think it's a interesting detail and an interesting thought as well. So I'm quite impatient to see it under a black light. I think it's going to look amazing and it's going to surprise um, when uh, we turn on the black light because once this will dry, it will be much, much darker because once again the transparency of the paint and because I used a lot of black. So yeah, pretty interesting painting. I love testing out things like that. And we're back! And I think uh, this is pretty amazing for a first test. I think the next time I'm going to try this, I will do um, a base coat. Not a base coat like uh, I usually do with the pouring paint pour, but just paint my canvas black. And I think this with fluorescent colors on a black canvas would look amazing. And even if add a little bit of white instead of the black in the pour uh, on a black canvas, uh, it's one of my next idea I, I want to try. I have to find something that is a bit less heavy as well, uh, so the paint do not uh, follow the weight as much. But even if it does, uh, the movement of the paint it stretches the lines and just reveals a whole lot of details and it's pretty amazing. To be honest, I really don't mind it that much. I find this painting uh, really interesting. Uh, the, I think there is a lot more that I can try with this and uh, the possibilities are endless. Those lines in the middle that really separate each little drops, it's pretty cool love the cells that popped up here. It's really weird. And really, on a black canvas, I think that would look amazing. And I will have to try the, this bottle with a base coat where the paint will spread uh, more easily. No base coat. Uh, restrict the paint more, I think, instead of allowing it to flow outwards and really create a lot of details. But I uh, it's special, it's something uh, different, I guess. And it really uh, reminds me of uh, the 80s where uh, the fluorescent was really cool. So yeah, this will darken quite a bit as it dries. Uh, it's going to look uh, pretty amazing, I think. And I can't wait to see that. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!